Hello guys. Uh, my name is Colm Keneally from Solar Home and this is just a quick little video. It might be that quick but it'll be quick enough anyhow. Uh, just showing you what an Alpha, our Alpha Gen 3 inverter and battery storage system looks like. Okay, so you may be a customer, you may be uh, someone else's customer, like an electrician's customer, you may be an electrician, an architect, a homeowner, or whatever that is, a business, and you're looking for information on, I, I'm going to put in solar, um, I'm going to put in an inverter and a battery system. What is that? What does it look like? What does it physically look like? What space do I need? So uh, hopefully this will be a, just a quick little video to go through a few little aspects of what this system is all about, okay? So first of all, the upper part of this system is our inverter. So it's that upper part of the inverter. And these two lower parts, in this case, is two batteries. And these are 10 kilowatt and 10 kilowatt. So 20 kilowatt of battery storage on this job here, and a five kilowatt inverter. The inverter, first of all, the five kilowatt inverter under your NC6 application is acceptable for all single phase installations throughout Ireland. Okay, so basically what that means is, if you're going for solar, you apply for an NC6 application, this inverter meets that requirement of the NC6, okay? What's this, what can this inverter do? This inverter is capable of taking or handling 10 kilowatts of solar panels. So if you have 10 kilowatts of solar panels up on your roof, that could be all on one roof or split across two roofs, this machine is capable of handling 10 kilowatts of solar panels. What does that mean? In most cases, we have a 460 watt uh, REC panel. It's, it, this machine is capable of connecting 20 or 22 of them REC panels to this machine. So 20 panels or a 22 panel system. Then attached to this system is two batteries. So DC coupled batteries for high voltage batteries, they're 96 volts, DC high voltage coupled batteries, and they're coupled to the alpha. So each of these batteries, if you look at them, I'll just take one for a second. It's about 800 millimeters tall. So one battery and one inverter is about 1150 in height, okay? If you stack two batteries, the total height is just shy of two meters. So you need two meters of space. So what we're looking for, if you do install a system like this, so if you have a singular battery, you're looking for a good 300 millimeters of space all around this to fit this. That's what that looks like. It is 600 millimeters wide. So 600 millimeters wide, that's what you require in space, but you need at least 250, 300 all around it. So if you look at this case, this has nice access airflow all around it. That's for uh, a single stack. If you don't have the height, you can stack outside, but you also require more room. So generally, per battery unit, you're looking at 1200 to fit, and then another 1200 to fit again. So that's what that system looks like. It sticks out from the wall, 250 millimeters out from the wall, so about 10 inches, right? And each battery, the 10 kilowatt battery, each of them batteries weigh approximately 95 kilos in weight. So 95 kilos, stack another 95, which is 109, 190, and then your inverter on top, which is about 20 kilos in weight. So what they do is they bolt back to a solid wall generally, or a fireproof base. In this case, we've got a fireproof floor underneath it, concrete floor. That's what that system looks like. It's wired back to a, a, an isolator switch, and in your board, I'm gonna take this around, it comes off your board on a breaker. So it feeds from the breaker on the board, comes down to your isolator and across to the inverter, and that's what that looks like. So that's what that looks like this way and this side. The DC cables are coming down from the roof, in this case, to a trunken on the left-hand side and in, and all the axis, all the wires are going in there to the side of it. It's a fairly tidy unit. It looks good in most situations. Uh, it can also be fitted outside, but we recommend you fitting it inside, but it can be fitted outside in some certain cases as well. And that's a typical alpha uh, inverter installation with batteries. In this case, you've got 20, kilowatt to 10 kilowatt batteries there tied to this alpha system on a property here for solar home okay this is colin Keneally from solar home bye for now